All right, day 112, the second walk of the day. I put the camera on, we'll get going. I am in, uh, I have entered into the Wonder Years neighborhood. Right out of the late 60s, early 70s. Every house is period. None of these houses have been torn down and built up a new crazy house. Let me start the timer. They're all from the 60s and 70s, apparently, late 60s. The one house I went into in part one was from 69, if you want to see that. That was pretty interesting, just to see what the architecture looked like, the interior of the house was in 69. It's kind of interesting that all these houses, they look like they're straight out of the Wonder Years time period. It's, like I said, it, none of them have been torn down and built, replaced with turn of the century houses. They're all, See, let's look down that street. Maple trees, it looked like you're on the Wonder Years Street. Now this is maybe the biggest house I've seen right here. They're all about the same, and they all look like they're out of the Wonder Years. Straight out of suburbia. The only thing we're missing is period cars. I haven't seen one vintage car. But it's really, really interesting. There's been, looked like no new construction here in 40, 50 years. Now here, I walked down here to see this car. This is a green, a BMW, I believe. Forest green. It's a good looking car. I saw a purple Bronco in the first video. That was pretty cool. Now I got a forest green BMW. I don't know what it is. Let's see, what model? It's a good looking car. says uh, competition M M3 I don't know maybe you'll see an M3 comp competition it's snazzy good looking car all right I don't think I'm gonna walk all the way back there it's dead end There's one vintage car, oh goodness. I gotta walk all the way to the end. It's a, a Lincoln. That's right out of the 70s. I guess we'll go look at that real quick. So we get one vintage car from the vintage neighborhood. Thought I'd see a lot of them. But see all these cars are parked outside their garages. They must have their garage jam full of stuff. Cause they've been here forever. I don't know about that, but it's highly possible. The house is old, but the cars are new. So this is a, I think it's a 70s Lincoln. And that's what, it was a town car? Lincoln town car? I got two Lincolns, look at this. I got a Lincoln town car from the 70s, and then the brand new Lincoln MKT. I don't even know what that is. Now that's kind of neat. Well, that car is from, oh, Phoenix, Arizona. It's right out of the 70s. And now, if all the cars on this street were from the 70s, that would be interesting. Because <laughs> all the houses are from the 70s. All right. It'll take me at least a mile to get back to the car. Very, very neat. It's a cool little discovery. Tell me what the most, at the end of the video, tell me what the most interesting thing you saw in this video. Is it this house, a car? Leave it to beaver houses. Look at these houses. They're right out of the 60s. It's so cool. Early 70s. Seen brick houses in the first video. It's all purple Bronco, all kinds of stuff. Very quiet. What I haven't seen is a lot of people, <laughs> even on a Sunday. I think I've seen maybe, I don't know, I saw a few people. I went in that open house in the first video, some life-size bonsai trees. If you want to see uh, inside of one of these houses, uh, that was in the first video. That was uh, 
house built in 1969. I think it was just three bedrooms. Let me see here. 1.65 million. Three bedrooms, two baths, 1,733 square feet. And it looked like it had uh, furnishings from the 80s. They said they've been there since the 80s, 81. So they've been here for a long time. Over 40 years, they said. They're moving back. They had family and the family went to the East Coast and now they're going to the East Coast. I think they're gonna miss the weather. But I'm gonna be near their family, so. This is an adjacent street here. Looks like we're gonna get the same type of stuff. 60s and 70s houses. Another cul-de-sac. I'm not walking down there though. We got a big dog. La uh, look like a retriever. But I gotta go back. Walk all the way down here now. These houses. And it's like an upscale neighborhood from the 60s and 70s. I mean, they're all another hole in the roof house. You go out on the balcony, I guess. And all the houses are, you know, very, very nice. Pretty iceberg roses. So it'd have been an upscale neighborhood from that time period. Like they all seem to have, you know, probably four bedrooms and but they were probably very affordable in that back then. Now, forget about it. Interest rate 7%. Nobody can afford nothing. Back then, you could have a husband work and have two kids and a wife stay at home and take care of the children. There's a pretty house here. Nice bay windows. And nowadays, both, both, uh, this, now they look like a house right out of the 60s. Both uh, husband and wife work and can't have any kids or buy a house, hardly. A rent. Really a nice neighborhood. I think most of these people have been here for, oh, they got to redo their roof. 40, 50 years. Couple dogs. <laughs> Hello. Probably everybody knows their neighbor. See, this house maybe been a little bit updated. I don't know if that sandstone or this period, but they probably did that. But it's almost all the, look at that brick house, brick front. No, not a brick house. Did see some brick houses in the first video. And that has some brick front to it. But there are a couple of houses completely made out of brick, which you never see. And most of these roofs are not tile. They're the, uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, that one's tile. So they put a new roof on, but from a roof that you did in the 60s and 70s. Now the, the tile roofs, I guess the places that have redone their roofs in the last, since this century. <laughs> Crazy. Very nice, very interesting neighborhood. That's uh, beautiful. Just such right out of the 60s architecture. The way the windows are. Look at that. A little walkway in there. Nobody has a little courtyard like that. They did in the 60s. Very neat. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's all the sparking. Hi, buddy. He is not happy. Stay away. Thought I'd see more older cars, but I have not seen the one Lincoln's vintage. And that's been it. All newer cars in an older neighborhood. Comes a Rivian. Gonna end up with another mile here. Plane flying over with a sign, Gelato, I guess it's advertising. I don't know if you can see it much on camera. Like hardly anybody out in this neighborhood. It's like a car went by. Bet I haven't had five cars pass me by in two miles. And it's a weekend. I think more people would be out and about. Look at that. The house is straight out of the 60s, 70s. Eh? to walk out of the house to get into the garage next door. So interesting. All right. Well, that was unexpectedly neat. Head back. Such a well-kept neighborhood. So nice. And no new houses. I guess the houses were built so well back then, or in this neighborhood, they didn't need to tear them down and build new ones. People still want to live in them. A lot of times these houses are one, two bedroom, one bath, single, single story houses and people have torn them down and built much bigger houses but I guess these were built big enough where people still want to don't feel the need to tear them down see look at that 60s architecture very interesting well that was cool I come back down here again sometime just an unexpected find hidden down here at the end of a cul-de-sac I gotta walk up this hill. Definitely gonna be at two miles. Nothing really that interesting getting here. Well, I did up here where I parked is a Morel house. I don't really know anything about it, I think. It, sh it was open today, but it closed. I got here shortly after it closed, I believe. So. Windy today. Walking in a windstorm. Finally cut the video off about here, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk another mile, uh, half a third, three, three tenths of a mile to get to second mile. So let's see what we see up here. I guess we'll see the Morel house again. If you want to see that, stick around for another five minutes here. There's a guy on a I don't know what you call it. Skateboard with one wheel. Motorized. to be done it's kind of interesting stuff today I was going 
I went to the dog park, but the dogs really weren't that interesting, to be honest. And then I came up upon this house. Neat trees. Look, it's the orange blooms on them. Very neat. Especially in a dog park, only the dogs only want to play with the other dogs, so I didn't pet any dogs. I saw a bunch of dogs, but I didn't pet any dogs. But here's this Morel house. Looks like it's from turn of the turn of last century, 19s, hundreds, I would assume. I looked inside and uh, had like a like a stove was from the 1900s, not even. A, 1920s, I guess it could have been. So I don't even know if they had stoves in the 1900s. Maybe. But it was an old stove. I looked in the window. I don't think you could see it though on camera. But it was beautiful. It was a beautiful looking stove. It looked brand new. So obviously they refurbished it. The Morel House. Probably 1900, 19 something. I don't know. I'm surprised it doesn't say somewhere on the outside, but I guess when it's open, it says you can learn all about it. Maybe I'll come back here again soon. I'd like to look around in it. I don't know why they have a, a bowling tree. That's not period. Got a stand-up piano though. Weird to have a bowling in it. Violin. Okay. Well, I'm cool. Here's a beautiful rose garden outside of it. All kinds of roses. I gotta do two tenths of a mile to get to another mile and real close to it just look at the back of this house again just for if you want to see the don't walk around the back of that house but walk around the back of this one and then that one too so you gotta do another see at the back of it I saw the stove but I don't think you can see the stove on camera You know when they built this house? When how old the house is? No idea. No idea. Have a good day. Maybe 1900s, 1920s. I think I had an air conditioner now. <laughs> Funny because you don't really need it. Air conditioner too much down here. Not enough people don't really have it. I don't even think I turned mine on last year. They got an air conditioner. I'm sure that, well, I know they didn't have air conditioner when this house was built. All right, I got to do one tenth more of a mile. Uh oh. How'd this doggy get out? They need to bring him back. Doggy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Is that your dog? <laughs> he knows where to live, right? Oh, 
She's just waiting on you. She's a good dog. All right, just a little bit more. Let's walk around a little bit more. I don't know. I'd say between 1900 and 1920, these houses were built. I guess I look it, could look it up. Really pretty. So a couple of these houses over in Gardena looked like they were built in maybe the, that's I guess the 30s but I think these are from the 20s I had to make a guess all right almost done did a mile to the dog park all the dogs they're not interested in being petted they just want to play with the other people uh oh Pretty much it. <laughs> Heading in a windstorm. Tell me what the most interesting thing you saw in the video, what you liked the best. Try to put more of it in the next one. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button. Put a recommendation for a video you might like. <laughs> That's it. it for this one check out part one if you like this one that's it new videos every day see you tomorrow bye